We have been exploited for too long. There is need to let the African people choose their own leaders. There is need to let the people of Zimbabwe choose their own leaders. We have been colonized, neo-colonized for too long. From the time we established contact with our Western friends, they have never allowed us to govern ourselves. The time for our liberation, total liberation in all its aspects, is now in the way we want. They have never allowed us to choose our own leaders. They colonized us for decades or even for centuries. This is no time to be governed by puppets of imperialism. This is no time to be governed by puppets of Anglo-American cooperation. We won our independence through very difficult struggles. We defeated them. They have come back again to try and recolonize us through puppets, through agents. This is no time to be governed by agents of the Brentis Foundation. The people of Zimbabwe have gone through a lot of difficulties by simply trying to maintain and regain their independence. They had the first Chimurenga, which was a resistance to colonialism. Colonialism of the British South African Company of Cecil Rhodes and the other agents of imperialism. Our people in Zimbabwe were killed. Our leaders were killed in Zimbabwe in the face of Chimurenga just to resist colonization. Mbuya Nehada was killed for resisting. Here in Zambia, Nsingu was killed for resisting. We won our independence. The people of Zimbabwe liberated themselves through the second Chimurenga. Today, the same people who colonized Zimbabwe, who colonized us, want to come back through puppets. They have installed puppets in, in, everywhere. They have installed puppets in Zambia. They have a puppet in Zambia managed by Anglo-American Corporation through the Brentis Foundation. They want to install a puppet in Zimbabwe, Chamisa. They tried to install a puppet in Kenya, they failed. They are trying to install a puppet in Uganda, Bobby Wine. They will never succeed. They failed in, 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 in Kenya. They are trying in South Africa to ensure that the ANC does not get a majority and we have the rule of their puppets in DA, it won't happen and it shouldn't be allowed to happen. They want to install apartheid agents in South Africa through the DA, in Zimbabwe through Chamisa, in Zambia they have succeeded through Hakainde Ichilema, in Uganda they want to install Bobby Wine, a puppet, this is not the time to be ruled by agents of the people who killed our people. People who killed Mbuya Nehad, Seguru Kaguya, Nsingu, people who colonized us for almost a century to come back and recolonize us again. 
They have never allowed us to choose our own leaders. The Brentes Foundation, an Anglo Foundation, is aggressively trying to participate in the governance of our countries. For what? Where we have chosen the true leaders of our people, they have killed them. They have maligned them. They have defamed them. Simply to regain their control of our minerals. To regain the control over the, our resources. The elections coming up in Zimbabwe, they have so much interest in them. I appeal to the people of Zimbabwe not to vote for puppets of imperialism, of Anglo and other mining transitional corporations. The puppets of Western governments. But they themselves never allow anybody to take an interest in their elections, to participate in their elections, to influence their elections. You try to influence American elections and see what they will do to you and see what their reaction will be. But they want to tell the people of Zimbabwe who should lead them, to tell the people of Africa who should lead them. For whatever the deficiencies, for whatever the mistakes and weaknesses of ZANPF, we are still better off with them. And we should give them our support. For now in Zimbabwe, there is no alternative to ZANPF. This is not the time for them to choose our leaders. And I hope our people in Zimbabwe will not be swayed by colonial or neo-colonial propaganda and choose puppets for leaders. We know ZANU-PF has made many mistakes, has many weaknesses, but they are our liberators. They are truly anti-imperialist and they deserve our support. This is not the time to be ruled by agents of mining transitional corporations, to be ruled by agents of our colonizers. Let not them be cheated to go the Zambian way. The Zambian way is a way of being governed by puppets. If we continue to be ruled by agents of our former colonizers who want to come and recolonize us, we will not see much progress. Today, Africa has 29 military outposts of the USA. And Zambia has accepted to be part of that. Today, Zambia is hosting an African office for the USA military. For what? Definitely is for swatting the sovereignty of Africa. Not only Zambia, but the whole region, the whole continent. Time to get rid of puppets is now. This is our time to choose our own leaders. This is the time for Zimbabweans to choose their own leaders. Puppets, agents of neocolonialism, cannot be leaders of our people. And they should never be allowed to be leaders of our people. Our sovereignty is important. Our independence is important. Zimbabwe should not go the puppet way. I therefore make a passionate appeal to the people of Zimbabwe not to entertain the puppets, the agents of imperialism, the agents of Anglo, the agents of the Brentus Foundation. Zambians died for the independence of Zimbabwe. We were bombed by white Rhodesians here. 
Today, they should come back and be given the country again through puppets to govern. They have succeeded in Zambia. And their appetite has grown. And they think they can do it in Zimbabwe. We should not allow it. Today, the USA has got 29 military outposts across the, con the continent of Africa. I can say in 15 countries. France has got 10 military bases on African soil. For what? The USA has got more military, uh, more military outposts in Africa than it has in Europe. Is it for our liberation? No. Again, I emphasize and I appeal to the people of Zimbabwe not to allow puppets to govern that country. We have been exploited for too long. There is need to let the African people choose their own leaders. There is need to let the people of Zimbabwe choose their own leaders. We have been colonized neo-colonized for too long. From the time we established contact with our Western friends, they have never allowed us to govern ourselves. The time for our liberation, total liberation in all its aspects is now in the way we want. They have never allowed us to choose our own leaders. They colonized us for decades.